Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the most beautiful motorhomes, one of the best tag axle values, and a motorhome that can have a space in the back for a closet or for bunk beds. This is a 2022 Holiday Rambler Armada Model 44B. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. video my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews it's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome Holiday Rambler Armada 44B but before I begin I would like to say hi to Andrea hey Andrea hi everybody how's it going it's going good I'm really excited you guys know how much I love to look at the Nauticas and Armadas yes but Matt why yeah. didn't you jump well, because I pulled my back, everyone, so I'm not oh. doing. Yeah, so so I'm not doing the jumping, and we're not climbing up on the roof. It's a nice roof. We're just not going to see it today. Oh. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Holiday Rambler Armada 44B. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 44 feet long. This is the Armada. This is their top of the line motorhome for Holiday Rambler. Right underneath here, we do have a generator because your engine's in the back. The engine is a Cummins ISL9, 450 horsepower with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. And then underneath here, Andrea, is a slide-out tray with a Cummins own-in 8,000 generator. Again, really awesome motorhome tag axle. We'll go over that in a little bit. Look at the nice big windshield. Don't you like that? Oh, beautiful. I love the LED lights underneath there as well, or whatever. You know, the Armada, the Armada is the, Holiday Rambler Armada is the sister product to the Fleetwood Discovery LXE. I like the name Armada. It, it just seems like it's awesome. Right up here, we do have chrome mirrors, left side, right side, with cameras integrated in both mirrors. This does have the technology package, which means mobile eye colli collision mitigation and everything. And then coming down the side here, we do have the nice Gerard awnings, okay? The reason why they're nice is because the way it, it looks like it's a smooth profile, it's a higher end look to make it look like that. And then look at these tires, and Andrea, they're the Michelins. I love those. 275-80R22.5 with shiny Alcoa rims. Now this does have the custom XCM Titan Bridge chassis, Andrea. And what that means, it's a modular chassis. So how Holiday Rambler gets this, they get the front piece and the rear piece, and they do the Titan Bridge, which it's a modular chassis that goes on top. It's what's gonna give you more storage than the competition. Fuel Phillips right here. And then let's take a look at this storage. Well, not this one. <laughs> but look at that. Nice. Very nice passenger storage. And you have that tray comes out both ways, right? It sure does. Awesome. It's a Moride slide out tray. Aluminum slam latch doors. And then here. We have a very nice Samsung TV on the outside. Beautiful. Man, that's bigger than the, the one at our house, Andrea. Maybe we should take it. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice too. It's nice. I that think it, was... it might be bigger than the one in our bedroom. We right. Should take no. that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 nice because it's a Samsung. Yeah. Did you check this out? Yes, I did. Okay. Good. Good. Very nice. All right. Right over here, we got our surge guard, central vacuum, battery control center, everything. And then here's your tag axle, okay? Now this has the ultra steer. And what that means is, okay, great. Look at that tiffin right here. You see how both tires go indented where this one sticks out like that? That's because this rear tire steers as well 
So when you turn real hard, that tire, if that one's going this way, this tire will go that way and it'll give you a tighter turning radius. I think they say by like 18 or 13 degrees. Wow. Which, yeah, when you're, that doesn't sound like much, but when you're in a 44 foot motor right. home, that makes a huge deal. A little bit more storage right here. And then right here is your inverter. And that's your, uh, some of your fluids for your auto leveling. Coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a 15,000 pound hitch. Wow. This motorhome can tow 15,000 pounds. Again, rear engine, side mount radiator, backup camera there. And also it is a one piece fiberglass roof. Also, it does have solar and three air conditionings on top of the roof. Nice. Yes, ma'am. And I do see that ladder comes off, so that right. is not like that so, all the time, So, guys. yeah, it, it's it's a double. Not only did I pull my back, but it's that ladder as well. I'm like, <laughs> Andrea's like, you're not climbing the roof today. And I'm like, Andrea, you are right. Yes. <laughs> right over here, look at all these batteries. Napa no hell. Wow. <laughs> no, they're not Napa's. They're Harris Plus. More batteries there. Here's your DEF fluid. We should call Napa. I know. We should get a sponsor and go Napa know-how. <laughs> Just to say it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your wet bay. Look at this, Andre. It's so nice. Water filter, outdoor shower, uh, cold point drains, um, your fresh water hose on power cord reel, your 50 amp power cords on a power cord reel. Nice. Super nice. Other side of the storage. Yes, and here's the other side. You got the tray. And we got our. Yes, Aqua Hot Hydronic Water System. Okay. Totally forgot to mention there's no propane on this coach. It's all electric. Right here. Bing. Here's all the specs about this motorhome. But this your water heater. Not only that, this is what's going to be used to heat up your motorhome as nice. well. Nice. It is. It is. And Got then another fuel tank right there, everybody. The other side. Yep. And then right here is just a little bit more storage. All right. I can't wait to go in here. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go. Take a look. Do you want to skip today for us, Andrea? Uh, no. Skip around. Skip I, around. I don't even know how to skip. One time. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> great job. Here we go. Hey, never do that again. I won't. We'll, we'll make it limited edition. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> like I said, I haven't skipped in a really long time. You did great. All right, we need our cargo. 7,206 pounds. Wow. All right, everybody, the slide is in. Oh my goodness. Okay, so look at this walkway. It is little, okay, but it's doable. The bigger the slide house, the tighter the walkway. And here we got, oh my goodness, we got the half bath and the master. And it looks like we have a tilt to bed. Okay, and one thing I am gonna check. So yeah, it looks like you can't open the fridge, which is good with the slide in. People were asking about that. Yes. Now Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, we wanna take a quick second to thank the sponsor campgroundviews.com if you guys haven't heard of the news campground views is a new website and what they're doing is 360 digital tours of campgrounds right now they're getting all the recreation.gov properties which is your state and national parks what's really nice about it is you're able to set your date parameters tour the campsite make sure you can fit especially if you're looking at a beast of a motorhome like this not only that check availabilities and book the sites all through the website. We have an interview with Mark, the CEO of campgroundviews.com. We'll link it right up there also at the end of this video. Uh, Andrea, let's continue the video. Yes, thank you so much to campgroundviews.com. Perfect, let's get started up here. Okay, right up here, Andrea, before, look, 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 oh, what am I trying to say? Look at that. The embroidery. Embroidery, nice. Armada, very nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get over here real yeah, quick since yeah. you're beautiful. I'm not even gonna sit Just, in the seat. No, I'm going to sit in the seat. Of this course you're going to sit this in the seat. This is America. Seat. If you're not going to sit in the seat, I'm going to sit in the yeah, seat. Yeah, so look, we got a nice 
tilt of view steering wheel up down in and out okay we got our dual screens right here apple carplay android auto your mobile eye collision mitigation digital dash right here and then push button to start cup holders and everything there and then andre you want to sit in my co-captain seat yes but first of all i want to hear the horn oh well, hang on a second <laughs> i don't want to scare nobody but andrea is right it does have an air horn <laughs> Woo! america we've been forgetting oh. to do that matt all okay, right okay so look here it oh wow guys sorry i'm just gonna sit here for a little bit because it's so comfortable yes and i do see that it does have a step cover you guys yes so for those of you that don't know when you're driving or whenever you're set up you can just have that over it that way you don't have to worry about you know falling in <laughs> now andrea i do want to mention that these do have the power seats now just because you're watching this review this stock number here has power seats the next armada might not have power seats i'm not i don't remember what brands it was exactly okay but a lot of them are um taking away their power seats oh, because just like the ford chip shortage they can't get the um electronics for them now, right man, now i do see daytime and uh nighttime shades fcd and, yes ma'am and then we have a cabinet up here yep well, it's got your leveling electronic leveling and to your front slide out yep yep very nice nice tv up here got lg another one right here oh i don't know want to open that for it me? slides does it slide to the left there we go okay right just some little switches oh that's so cool so i turned the engine on and the tv went off did you cut yourself no i just hurt my nail it's oh okay. um i turned the engine on so the tv shut off and then when you turn the engine off the tv will turn back on oh, hold that's it. so you know when you're driving you're not watching the tv right that's a safety yep i like that they do that and then we got a bunker with the cab look at this Love this height aloft. Yes, ma'am. It does have a ladder that comes with it. Yep, and it holds 500 pounds. Wow. And then what a lot it's of a people good size. Yeah. You know? What a lot of people don't talk about is um, underneath here there is like these IKEA type of um, spring things. What do they oh, call? Oh yeah, I know what you're talking Flat about. Yeah. They're like wood things, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. And so as you can see around here, it has the LED lights up there, which was really nice. Yeah. And then Andrea, do a 360. Look oh, at how just, big and spacious yes, this is. I just love the lights everywhere. It makes it so bright in here. Pretty colors. Yes. And okay. then let's start right here. We do have nice cabinetry above. Okay. How do you like the balances? Uh, I think the balances are cute. Yep, yep. And then check this out. You have your daytime shades, but look at the uh, color of the privacy shade. Okay. Very nice. Nice storage. And again, you know, I like the slides. I mean, a lot of people don't pay attention to details on the slides. Yeah. And so sometimes they all look the same, but th this is actually really nice the way they have it detailed. For sure. And then we do have these nice electric seats. Oh man. <laughs> That feels good on my back. I bet. Yeah, that's very nice. Electric, you got your cup holders here. See this little metal thing? Yes. That's where a table can go, a little table. Awesome. And then you have a place for your remotes right there. And then what I love about this seat is you're looking directly across at a TV. I love that. Love, love, love that. And then your TV's right there. And what's nice about it is when you want the TV, it's up, and it's a big TV, too. And when you don't want it up anymore, Andrea, all you do is push this button, and it goes down. And you got a sound bar up there, too. Look. Yes. Sound bar right there, and now you have your nice big window. You have a nice tri-cushion sofa. Um, I believe it has a mattress that comes out of so it. So this is a full pull-out. Yep, the full pull-out mattress. Okay. And then we got storage right over there i like that even though it's a little cabinet they still give you adjustable shelves yes ma'am and then storage right there very nice yes and then around here above the dinette we got our dvd blu-ray player and then a lot more storage there 
Wow, they gave you a U-shaped dinette? Well, I love that for this. Here's why. One, everybody knows I love my U-shaped dinettes. But two, again, the back area is a closet and it morphs into a bunkhouse. So there is going to be times if you're buying this motorhome where there's going to be more than two people, everybody can sit around the dinette. It does drop down to make a bed and there's um, yep, storage on both sides. Storage underneath as well. And then that cushion is to lay flat on this when it's dropped down and make, made to, into a bed. Very pretty. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Here we go now. MSRP on this motorhome here is $526,000. $368, Andrea, MSRP. Sale price, do you see a sale price there? I do not. No, currently we're not advertising sale price because of how volatile the RV market is. But Andrea, we do have a sale price on this and we sell more Fleetwood, Holiday Ramblers and American Coaches than anybody in the country. So I know we'll be able to get everybody a fantastic price. And Andrea, if somebody wants to get the best price in America, tell everybody how to get it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or matsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is go to matsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you're not ready to buy this motorhome, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we're here to answer questions for you to help get you to the right buying decision. Or if it's just a generalized fan, and you have a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing they'll always get? The best price in America. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, look at this. This is beautiful. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, I like these cabinets. Look at this. We got adjustable shelves in there. Which yes, ma'am. Really nice. Mm -hmm. And look at this. Look at the backsplash. Okay, so this is pretty. I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, it's beautiful. Got that wood look. Got the panoramic window. We got a farmhouse sink. That window is nice. And then look at that sink. And ooh, we got an extension here. Very nice solid surface countertop. Really pretty. Yes. We've got a cabinet under here. Oh, hey the trash now. Can. That's a hundred four dollar trash can. I think it might be more than that. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, we got the Whirlpool convection oven. Okay, okay. Right? That is a convection oven. It is. Yeah. And then we got probably two burner induction cooktop. Wow. Yep. Very nice. That will run off your inverter. And these are heavy. Yeah, they are. I'm telling you. Okay, we got a drawer. Yes, ma'am. And a dishwasher. Whoa, very nice. That's awesome. Got some more storage here, guys. Yes, ma'am. And then here you got one of these. Look at that. Now, I, I guess, is this supposed to be your pantry? I um, don't know. Yeah, I guess. All right, so we got a peninsula here, I think. Yep, pull that out. Oh, I was about to say, mm. they're busting up counter space, but at least they gave you this little bit. Very nice. We got three drawers. Uh-huh. Nice drawers. And then we got the residential Whirlpool refrigerator with the ice maker and water purifier. And look at this. This is just really, really nice, you guys. Sure is. Very high end. You got the locks here and going down the road. That's so nice. Um, I like the color schemes in here. Right. And okay, so yeah, maybe that was the pantry. Yep. So there's your panel, and then you got something under here too. Uh, oh, your fuses. fuses. Okay. Okay, let All me right, check now, this. Let's see this half bath. Okay, here's a half bath. Little tight. Little tight, yep, half bath. You know, it is what it is. Oh. Got that right there. Good space though for there. Nice Cute sink. sink. They continue the backsplash. Okay. And got a window behind you as well. Porcelain. 
It's a little tight in there, huh? It's a little tight. Ugh. I don't know. It's right on the line. I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna give it to him. This, ew. <coughs> <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Bing! Yay! But again, this was borderline. It was a little tight. They almost messed up. Barely. But we're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. All right, so going into the master, we have a pocket door here. Yes, ma'am. Yep, very nice. King size tilt to bed. Yes, king size tilt to bed. Um, it tilts up. You have to have it up to have the slide outs open uh, or the slide outs closed. A cute headboard from what I can see. And yes, look at that cross the windows. Look at that nice cross ventilation. Yep. Also under here, I believe, isn't there sec like a security? Yes, there is. So what that is, it's um the um. If, the if, camera. Yep. So you can see them on the screen. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Let's see if it's working right now, actually. So we got a little nightstand. Not much right there. Oh, it's raining. And yeah, then it's on not working this right now. side, we have uh, a, a, the other side has a nightstand. Yes. Not a lot, but at least they gave you a little bit. Oh, look at this. So that's one of the wardrobes. Yes, ma'am. And then under the TV. Doors. I don't know it was supposed to rain today. This is Florida. <laughs> you never know when it's going to rain. It rains when it decides to rain. Other side of the wardrobe, guys. And look at this. Look at all this. Look. Oh. oh. That was hiding in there. Side by side. Wow. Okay. Washer and dryer. That's very, very nice. nice. Whirlpool. Yeah, man. And then we got three drawers on this side. Yep. And then on your side, Matt, there's also three drawers. Okay. Very and then nice. going into the master bathroom, you have a pocket door. Another one. Another one. Ooh. And then look at this sink. Beautiful. I love this. Nice big sink area. I love the way that looks right there. Very nice. Oh, wow. That was hiding. Yep. Got storage on that side too for a medicine cabinet. Then we got six drawers no, going around the sink. No, I don't think this is stored. Oh, yes it is. So we got six drawers here. Then we got a cabinet here. Sponges, Matt. Yep. And this is adorable. Nice big sink. Very nice and job. And look at this shower. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That's beautiful. Especially in a, you know, in the bunkhouse style motorhome. Yeah. It's really nice. I really like how they make the showers this big. Plenty of height, plenty of width. I everything. like that it has a seat in there. That's yep. really important. Okay, so when you're stepping up to go into the um, toilet area, there's a step, so gotta watch that. Uh oh. Art Deco? No, but that is a pretty picture. Got a window behind you. Oh, wow. Tight, huh? No. No? Oh, no, you got room over here. No. This is a Matt's RV Reviews first. Sit on that, please. Okay. Why? You feel that? Yeah. Behind you, your back. You... Yeah. That is strange. Yeah, look, look, get up. Look at this, y'all. Be... <sighs> it's like you're up against that right. counter or the right they should the they, they should have taken that out because now you can't sit all the way back you're right, right, kind of no. sitting at an angle it is a little strange i can't give that a prime pooping position and, yeah I for mean, what you don't really need that there right you know? yeah i yeah you, I, they I, gotta get that i don't know okay so this mm. is exciting you got a pocket door going in here into the bunk room or closet yep and as you can see, that's a little wardrobe. You got three drawers. Yes. But what's nice, Matt, is you have that on this side as well. Oh, very so nice. That is awesome. Very nice. You don't see that a lot. And then check this out, guys. You got your bunk beds, right? Oh, but, oops, sorry. But here's what's real nice. If you don't want it to be bunk beds, you flip this up and now it's hanging wardrobe space. Love it love that and they even oh they even gave you windows back here too yes okay very oh, wow nice. look at that mm -hmm. oh my goodness 
You got a light up there, right? Right there. Wow, this is this is incredible. I mean, down there as well, you got the cabinet. I like this. Yes, ma'am. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it, Andrea. What do we do with first? Uh, let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Okay. Everybody knows I hate the Gerard Onyx. Here's why. Takes a remote control to control, okay? But, as we learned last time with, um, we did a review with Mike the factory rep, he said that white box up there is like for you to open it in case you lose the remote. I get that. That's for that front awning. You know what you have to do if you get to the back awning if you lose the remote? What's that? Or if the remote breaks. <laughs> that's the control right there. So you have to get all the way back here and push the buttons in right there. That's crazy. That is crazy. Why would they put it all the way back there and not up to the front? I just want buttons up front. That's well, all I want. I don't I want. get it. That's it all doesn't make any sense. That's number one. Okay. I do have a number two, and then I can give you number three. Sure. Well, you know what? No, no, no. You do number two, because my number three is also a okay, light. My number two is, although I really like all the colors in here. Talk to I me. I don't like the, uh, I think this is too dark. Okay. I just, yeah, it's just too dark. Okay. That's my opinion. That's now, my dislike. <laughs> now, you do have the option of getting the white on white. Okay. Um, So you can get the white furniture color. Um, and again, that's just personal opinion and preference. So that's number two. Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna combo number two. There's not, for how big this motorhome is, there's not a ton of countertops. There space, is not. You know, um, but that's gonna be a combo for number two. And then I do have a number three, Andrea. When you are utilizing this for bunk beds, their room's back here and they have you have to walk through the bathroom to use the bunk bed area. Yes. That's not fun. No. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Andrea, now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready for me to go first? Sure. I love the versatility of this. This is a bunk house when you need it. This is a wardrobe when you need it. My opinion, guys, if you have people, if you if you need the bunk beds more than 50% of the time, this is not the right floor plan for you. But if you're the older couple that has grandkids that sometimes come with you, that is freaking awesome. It's there when you need it, and when you don't need it, you can use it for wardrobe space. And it only takes up, what, 5% of your motorhome? I love that feature. That's number one. Andrea, number two? Number two, okay. I am going to say, and, and it's really hard because this this has so many, I have so many likes in here. Yeah. So many, but I am gonna say something about this. Talk to me. The carpet here, I love, I know they have to do it because they have so many slides, but I love they didn't put like plush carpet down. Right. Or like, you know, the, the, the fuzzies. The, yeah. Yeah. This looks more like a, a kind of outdoor kind of carpet. And, and I didn't even it notice lot, it. I did. It looks a lot better. I know they have to put it in, but thank goodness because I've seen worse. Yeah. Yeah. And Good. And over here as well. Good. That's number two. And then Andrea, number three, I'm ending it with a U-shaped dinette. I love U-shaped dinettes. U-shaped dinettes are my jam. Um, that's just my thing. And especially the fact that this is made to sleep more than two people, that you have this awesome U-shaped dinette. I just love U-shaped dinettes. Me too. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call, text, send us an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a high-end diesel motor home this length, make sure you guys check out our other videos right there and there. Andre, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. 
Holiday Rambler does read the comments. Yes. So of course, you know, they're interested to see what you guys have to say. Um, again, if you guys haven't had a chance, please watch the video for campgroundviews.com. Big shout out. Yep. Because it is a great fantastic website that I, I swear is all in one stop shop for everything for sure for and sure I hope you guys are safe and well thanks for watching thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea we'll see you next time